Here we go. Unranked to GM tracer only. Educational. Unranked to GM. Oh my god, insecure. <gasps> I need to lock it in. I need to lock it in. Let's see. What rank are these people? Master. We're playing as a masters player. Um. Oh, never mind. I don't. I don't think this is masters. All right, let's win this, guys. They got Reinhardt. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna go right side here. See if I can go into support. So they have some mesh, so they're most likely gonna be stacked up a lot. I can go for one clip on the Anna. Come on, I didn't kill her. Both supports are there. So if I just call both supports and Ash, that's gonna be really good for us. Uh, I can go for Ash now. I know I get headshot. His headshot is a one shot on Tracer. They're just going for the support in the beginning. So now I want to go for. Okay, so they swapped to Metro. They're fair now. And Tracer, so. I should probably try and duel the Tracer against uh, the Tracer on their team. Because if I make sure that their Tracer doesn't touch my support, we should have better heals. We got two main healers. Versus uh, walking in a straight line now. Interesting uh, choice. Okay, I'm gonna take my pulse bomb now. I could pulse bomb the Reinhardt and kill him. But we already killed two, so there's no point in uh, there's no point in um, yeah, I'm going back. placing pulse bomb on it. Yeah, let's go back, guys. Now I can now I can pulse bomb the Reinhardt next fight. Uh they do have Kariko, so I have to get out uh, get two shot before that. And one clip the uh, the fire there. Gotta watch out for it. Come on. I can probably bait out Susu here. Up there, Susu. I missed my pulse bomb. Bellfish clap. We probably gonna shut that up. Need uh, we need healing. We need healing here. That's big. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the sports. We have no fade now, so she's really easy to kill when she doesn't have fade. Unless she's just running away from me. A fair shot die here. Okay. Shot. Now Mario's probably gonna fade out of spawn, which means that she won't have fade now. You can go for a spawn kill. Alright, monkey doesn't have bubble, so you gotta focus when someone he doesn't have bubble. That's like his only way of really surviving, so. I got him. Uh, so there's a trace on point. So we just got a clear point. As then we win the round. There we go. If they have a Widowmaker, which I don't know if they will, um, the Widowmaker will most likely go right side here for me. And uh, if they do, it's good for me to go over and pressure her. But I don't think that they're going to play Widow. I'm gonna go left side and stick with my team and see if I can do I can uh, what he said. He was get on the back line. Complaining about the algorithm of the matchmaking. So if I get on the back line, then uh, uh, we should be able to win. I don't even have to kill the back line as long as I get out a lot of their resources, then we should be fine. As long as they don't spend that resource on, on healing their main tank. On a low, on a low, on a dead. No, they, they I got Tracer. I got Tracer. Okay. Now we team wipe. I want to take an aggressive position sombra. here. They have a Sombra, so I don't want to take that aggressive of a positioning because uh, she can be invis and um, yeah, pretty much ping me wherever I am. Now you're on left side. And Tracer left side. They have Zarya. Just waiting out some cooldowns now. We're going to check this area, please. We're going to flank here. They used their orb. I got some rock. That's not good. And it's slow. I could probably kill the enemy here. Their sorry is fully charged, so she does a lot of damage right now. Get the tracer, please. Oh, my God. I was going for that. Oh, I thought I was gonna keep pushing. Come on, you saved it like that. 
I'm just gonna break the bubble here because I think I can kill the Mora if I break the bubble. If I couldn't break the bubble, I probably wouldn't try and break the bubble. Oh, if I if I couldn't kill her, I wouldn't try and break the bubble. We need to get a health pack that's not hack. Yeah. It's wonderful, it's wonderful. Got her. Got tracer. Uh, nice. So the Sombra couldn't get out because I broke the trans locator. And when you break their trans locator, it's about an 8 to 10 second cooldown. Um, before she has to back up again. There's no point in breaking that bubble on the Moira because I'm not going to be able to kill her anyways. I'm just get a full HP here before I try and uh, contest the tracer. Punching in tracer duels is very strong, by the way. This is a free 30 damage on them. And 30 damage on Tracer is pretty significant. I got or pretty significant, so. Always go for the, for the punches and the Tracer duels. They might be waiting, careful. Sombra for content? I can stick her there. Don't mind. She doesn't have recall now, so you can just chase her down. Okay. Nice. GG's. Alright. Uh, yeah, play around health packs and uh, and oh, duel, nice. the, duel the enemy tracer if uh, they have one so she doesn't get on your back line. Okay, so this is a push map which makes it even easier to go for the back line because a lot of the, the fights are very close. Uh, there's a lot of flanks on almost every point. It should be easier to go for the back line here. I'm just gonna go towards the middle. I'm gonna take right side of middle instead of left side where my tank is most likely gonna go for the for the bob. Doomfist, Moira, gonna take high ground here. Okay, don't really know why the enemy team is chasing me, but I'm okay with that. I can chase the Doomfist here probably. I'm gonna have E up again. Um, I can take a really aggressive spot right now because they're, uh, oh, I thought their echo was going to be out by herself because she was the one I killed the first at first, but Diana didn't die. So she's still alive. They're all going to be in there. I have pulse bomb soon, so I can try and farm, farm a pulse bomb. Uh, see if I can hit it. It would have been nicer if they were all still stacked in here, but beggars can't be choosers. So just focusing the tank right now, because it's really hard for Sigma to kill you as Tracer. Because every time he shoots, you can just blink. So now he's going to shoot again, and then I'm going to blink again, and then he's going to shoot again, and then I'm going to blink again, and then I'm going to move. Then he tried to predict me, which I respect it. So now I'm going to blink when he shoots, and then I'm going to blink when he shoots again. Wow. Oh, it's juicy. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Less than three, less than three. I think the Sigma is a little bit mad at me right now, which is understandable. He's going to try and shoot me, I'm going to blink, and then he's going to try and rock me, I'm going to blink. Now he's going to use his E. Just keep focusing him. Again, a rule of thumb. A rule of thumb as a DPS player is that um, a tank character is more valuable than a DPS character. So if you can trade um, a DPS for a tank, you should always do that. So, if I'm pretty much occupied by the enemy tank um, as a DPS character, the team should be able to win that fight. Of course, they're not going to win all the fights, but the majority of fights they should win because your team has a tank and the enemy team doesn't have a tank. So, I'm going to go for Anna here. I will blink so I uh, make sure that I'm behind her. Go for Widow. Always crouch spam. Crouch 80 spam against Widow because it's really hard for her to hit you if you do that. What the? What's happening? This house has a uh, mega health pack. This house doesn't. So if you need more health, always make sure to go in that house. So we can just focus the star here. She only has one bubble left. Uh, Mercy's left side, I believe. They don't even have Mercy, no man. And now we just spawn camping. I kill everything that touches points. The faster you clear point, the faster you win the game. 
the faster you win the game, the less chance the enemy team has to make a comeback, so. What support uh, would you think survived better against Tracer? Kiriko and Lucio. Kiriko and Lucio is really hard to kill as a Tracer. Of course, depending on how good the Lucio is, but Kiriko is... Yeah, Kiriko absolutely smokes Tracer. On top of that, Anna is also really good against Tracer now after the buffs wow, that they gave her. Juicy. So she only... Oh, wow. she, oh, wow. she can two-shot a Tracer now, body shot, so... Yeah, we can talk about blink management this game, which is also very important for Tracer. So this is a, uh, a Widow map or a Sniper map. You should just call them Widow maps. Uh, you can stand up here if you want and uh, take a close fight against someone. Uh, my ball is uh, scouting their comp right now. They got a Hanzo. You can take a, an aggressive spot right here. If you have the sitting emote, maybe you can sit and it's going to be harder to see you, but... Okay. I'm to go for one clip on the soldier here. Come on. Okay, so I need to be careful. I think damage boosted Hans so the body shot one shot you. I need to uh, set up dice with my ball here. Just trying to get on the back line right now. I still have to be careful. Go for the people that are low. The best thing I can do right now is just go on the people that my ball is on. Because if he takes the focus off Hanzo, for example, a massive threat is eliminated. So I only have two blinks right now, so I don't want to engage too much right now. I can go in now because I got another blink up. But I, if I play really aggressive, I want to make sure that I at least have two blinks up at any given moment. So if I triple blink in now, a double blink, I'm going to have to use my recall to get out. And my recall is a way longer cooldown than my blinks, which is why I want to I want to use my recall uh, only if like needed and I'm about to die, for example, not uh, just to get out. <clears throat> I don't really know why the Mercy delivered that one to the Cassidy, but I appreciate it. So we can play aggressive now because uh, I got three people. Build the Winston. Right, I'm gonna. Um. I could probably still play aggressive, but I'd rather not overextend and overheat, especially now that we use res. Because now that we use res, we, um, we won't be able to uh, revive a mistake like I, I did before. So I got two blinks now, so I don't only want to use one in this next fight. I got three, so I can use two at least. We got Kiriko. Try and go for one clip here on her. We can over TP. Pull it out. I always want to make sure that I at least have one recall, uh, no, one blink in the bank in case I need it in like an emergency. So the only times I really want to use my all my blinks at once is if I know uh, there are no threats. And the only really, the only real way to know that there are no threats is uh, by killing the enemies. So. If they're all alive, or at least four people are alive, I really don't want to use all my uh, blinks. So, for example, there it's good that I had two blinks, at least two blinks up, so I could get out of uh, this ult. Okay, they got Sen, so I can, I'm going to triple blink on the Sen and recall out. Wait, what does Kiriko look like Sen? Wait, I might, I might have to put on my glasses, never mind. Oh yeah, go for go for body shots more than headshots as tracer because oh I thought I could one clip her there. If if I think I can go for one clip, I I tend to play aggressive and recall out. Those are the only times that I wanna that I wanna go for an aggressive play um, like that. If I don't think I'm gonna one clip them, then I don't do it. Take the Winston. Winston's low HP. Getting a tank below the armor is really really good. Because armor is really strong against uh, Tracer, so if you can get them to a point where they don't have armor, you have a way easier time killing uh, um, killing the tanks. But yeah, body shots are, are, are better to go for as uh, Tracer. Um, unless it's a Senyata. Senyata is good to go for headshots on and Roadhog. 
there's a few characters that you want to go for headshots on like the yada and roadhog um also the, the one that brings up like comes up uh when i like just initially when i'm thinking about it might be a few other characters but Uh, this guy left a ranked match. I don't think that's healthy. <gasps> oh, I need a PlayStation. Oh my god, I need to like remember to install like, Trace all the time. Foreign game isn't that low for Tracer, at least for 180s. Well, I have a big mouse pad, so your sensitivity should definitely uh, depend on how big your mouse pad is. I'm using a Sky pad right now. Use code Craigits for 10% off, but it's, uh, it's, and it's a reasonably a big large, uh, big mouse pad. Uh, so they have a lever right now, which kind of sucks, but we just finished the game quickly. Ah, uh, King's Row. Listen, I like King's Row, but not for Tracer. But still got to show how it's done as Tracer. So whenever I used to play King's Row back when I played Contenders, there's always a... Um, there's always a route to take. I'll show you the route, but you always take that route. Okay, so pretty much the route is you go... Well, you don't die in the beginning. Um, hello, hello, hello. And then you go right side of the statue and double blink in here. And now you're pretty much in their back line. Because you can go up here for free. It's going to be hard for them to see you. Go right side of the clock. And you're pretty much on them. There, I just went for the closest target to me, which was Cassidy. Uh, but preferably, you go for the supports. No! Oh my god, he was 1 HP. Yeah, preferably, you go for the supports. Oh, I missed my melee. No mind. But yeah, once you take that route, you're pretty much in the enemy backline for free. So, Sen needs to die first. The Sen is really strong with this core orb. Make sure I don't get stuck but i didn't dodge it i could have probably blinked back there and dodged it uh, i didn't have recall though i need to save recall more often but i also have to kill the the sin so because we have really low heals right now so if we kill the senyata then um pretty much golden all right just got a clear point there i can go and send here because the way i know they have a sin is because uh reaper's uh orb with the, with the health orb so that's kind of like a way of knowing if he's close or not is if the enemies that you're shooting has his orb on him without having to peek him so uh their star is going to come out staggered here and reaper we might be able to go for a kill i uh, no mind. i don't want to use recoil here uh i try i, I wanted to see if the sin was going to orb him and if the sin didn't orb him i could have gone for the kill Oh my god, my tracking is actually terrible on their sin. It's impossible to track. He's too good! Alright, nah. Now this is personal. This is personal now. Ah! Okay, I shouldn't go out of my way. What? Wait, this guy's, this guy's killing everything. I can go for one clip on Dana here. Don't mind she was aware. Good card here. If card is there, by the way, then it's you, the enemy team still has a uh, another fight. Try and duke the shot. I can get healed by the cart, but I still have to watch out. No! Oh, I played that greedy. I didn't think she was going to push back because they were fighting on the on the main point. That's fine. We're still going to win the fight. So the card heals you. I, I don't know how much it is. Like five five health per second or something like that. So you, you can still get healed by card. Get rid of the Anna. So basically what I was trying to say is if the card is there, if, if the defending team loses a fight and the card is there, defending team still has a recontest but if the if the card is not there they will not have a recontest i think i blinked into that i'm sorry bro. uh they still have a recontest because half the team died uh, before that but yeah
Alright. Ersun is uh, playing a little bit too aggressive. Even though he is kind of uh, cosplaying uh, Jay Jonak right now. Just uh, playing a little too aggressive. Go for the ending here so she can keep healing this Saria. Because that's the main issue right now. And then we can go for the Sin afterwards. Oh, the whole team is there. We might be able to kill the Reaper here. Their heals are very low with uh, only Sin right now. But... Okay, I gotta contest the Tracer now. I'm gonna go towards the Tracer. Because if their Tracer is contested, she won't be in my enemy backline. That's a good bubble. She still died though. Sorry, I have no bubbles now because she used it on the Sin. Then we can go for her. Go for the one clip on the Mara since I was damage boosting. Damage boost the Tracer can go for one clip fairly easy. So Diva has left side, which tells me that I have to hold the right side now. And both supports are out right side. And Cassidy. So now we just gotta focus cart. No need to focus on the Ana right now, because if we kill the people on cart first, then we can uh, then we'll be able to cap, but here we go. Break with his foot fetish. Guys, this account is not not named Deadly Feet because of foot fetish. It's named Deadly Feet because Tracer's got the deadly feet with the movement. Five, four, three, That's why. One, Nothing to do with foot fetish, guys. Alright, I'm gonna start in here. Because like I said before, the default route for Tracer is to blink in here. So if she blinks in here, if they have a Tracer, she's already used up all her blinks. Which means that the fight is gonna be very easy for me. My okay, stuff there. So now the fight's gonna be very easy for me because she already used all her blinks. So that's why I played in here. Um Tracer might actually jump down, but let's kill the diva first. Oh, I just farted. I hope the mic didn't pick that up. Oh, I'm farting again. I'm leaking. I can go for the widow now. Shoot the Anna. But the widow too. Gotta watch out to uh, if I get body shot by Anna, then Chance of me dying to the tracer is very high, so I gotta w watch out for the Anna body shots. Alright. Oh, what is uh, high ground right now? She's probably gonna stay up there for a long time now since she knows I'm left side because she saw me going here. But we'll have a little bit of time to work around with. Again, shooting tanks when they're below the armor health is very, very strong as well. It's really hard to break through armor as a tracer. But uh, you will do a lot of damage once they're below the armor health. All right, I gotta watch out. Both of those two characters can headshot me and then I'm very, very low. I gotta watch out for that one shot. Also, I don't have a recall now. Uh, Cassidy might overextend now because our diva is low. No mind, he didn't. Is our Widow still high ground? I can't really check. Diva is low now. They still have Susu, so I can't pull spawn right now. It'll just get susu'd. You might susu this. Never mind. Just poking from both sides since Diva cannot matrix on both sides. So my team is on that side and I'm over here and she doesn't really know where she's supposed to put her um her matrix. So I use susu now, so I might be able to go for a pulse bomb on the uh on the ground there, I guess. That was bad news, builders. Dude, this guy's cracked. This guy's cracked. He's got to be smurfing. Yeah, we oh guys, it's fine. It's fine. You know, this is going up on YouTube anyway, so we can edit that one out. It, it can be edited out. Yeah, I can go for the back line here. Really, this is a really good flank to go on the back line through hotel. But they have three people back here, so four people actually. So it's gonna be really hard. But them having four people on their back, focusing on their back line means that my team will be able to focus on the diva in the front line. So that's why we got to pick on the diva, which is really good because once their uh, Kitsuna all this over, um, once Kitsuna all this over, we will be able to win the fight most likely. Now diva's not here to uh, matrix uh, the back line either. So even though you don't kill the back line, simply stalling them and taking their um, their focus away from uh, healing their tank. It's really strong. You don't necessarily have to kill them all the time. You just have to make sure that um, 
got to make sure that they're not healing their tank. As we've talked about this before, tank is very valuable right now in Overwatch 2. So if you kill their tank, then your chance of winning is very high. Uh, best tip against a remaking D.Va is wait for D.Va to remake. Because it, once she remakes, it's really easy for you to go for a one clip on her. So let her use her bomb and wait for her to start remaking before shooting. Because if she remakes while you're shooting uh, or while you're reloading, she will be able to... Um, she will be able to get the mech back. So make sure to save uh, all your 40 bullets for when she's remaking. All right, last game before placements. So another tick with uh, Tracer that everybody should know of is Blink Melee Recall. So if you're about to recall, uh, whatever for whatever reason that may be, always Blink and Melee. You could also Melee and Blink at the same time because once you Melee, there's like... Like a cut, I don't know how long it is, but it's not like melee isn't like an instant thing. So like you can melee and turn around. Like you can do this, and you can also hit the people around behind you. So it's like when you melee, it's it's, it's actually meleeing like everything that you're looking at within like a point one second, some, something like that. I, I don't know. Um, so everybody should learn blink melee before recalling. So if you're planning on recalling, always uh, blink melee before. Okay, so they use a soldier healing station, which is really good. Um, also, they have Widow, so I need to go on Widow now, actually. With my ball. My ball is already in the back backline. Got that, alright? Alright. So just uh, go on their widow um every time she comes out taking left side over here is probably better there's like a lingering hit bus so always blink melee it's, it's really easy to uh to get that like do it in game once you get it down so just practice it in practice range before playing chase and should be good to you okay they swapped off widow now nice that's really that's well played by my ball That was bad of me. I shouldn't have gone that aggressive. We still got the kill though. So it's a trade, but I can go down here and go for a flank here. I got headshot. Bad. I don't have recall for uh, Cassidy Nate now. Oh, damage boosted Cassidy Nate is a one shot. That's fine. That's a trade. As long as they don't rest it, which I think my ball won't let it happen. I'm trying to out the tank right now actually got the kill on the tank the enemy needs to die so i'm going on the back line with my ball now he's on the cassidy we should swap the target to anna always swap the target to the healers first for the supports my bad um that way because it's way easier to kill someone who's not getting healed compared to someone getting healed so always focus your uh, put your focus towards the healer i mean supports So he's vice. Okay, we can't kill him. If he wasn't nano boosted, we might have been able to kill him, but now he's nano boosted. It's impossible. Okay, we don't have any alts coming up except for pulse bomb, which I need to farm first. I need to recall that one. Let's play safe because we still have a recontest with Mercy as soldier on this team. Go for pick there as long as they don't let him rest. As, I, as long as they don't let him rest, we'll be fine. All right. That's pretty good. Now we need to take an aggressive position again. Um, if we can get a pick before anything happens. No, I couldn't one clip him. Oh, Mercy need to get out. They use healing station now. I can go for the Anna. I need to watch out for uh, Soldier's Rocket if I'm low. Which I was there. A little bit with my ball now. We could go on their backline. 
don't think there's anybody behind me, so I have to worry. I don't have to worry about that. And they see nine, so. Let the kitsune guide you. Another thing that I could be doing better is I could be looking at where my ball is going and focusing the same targets as him. Let's set up for um, a dive on the on the back line. I can I can get really close to the back line by taking uh, by going left side here. With my ball. But Mercy is standing still for some reason. I didn't one clip her. That's bad. I should have one clipped her there. I'm with Nicola there. I'm on the same character as my ball is on. Biggest half HP, so she should be able to die here. Don't know why she's running straight at me like that. Just AD crouch spam against Ash. Hopefully she doesn't hit it. But she didn't. No! Oh no, not the pulse bombs. Oh, uh, okay. I get the health back over here. And go. I can go behind him up here. See if I can bait out Moira's cooldowns. If I can bait out her cooldowns, then I can possibly kill her. Uh, I don't think I can kill her with an Ash next to her. Okay. Alright. Placement's done. What did we get? What did we get? All right, here we go. Ooh, that's not bad. That's not bad.